And it, it's all derived from, the, from President Biden's energy policy, which is, which is, here's his energy policy, wind, solar, and wishful thinking. It's just not realistic. And among other things, it, it is hurting our country. It's hurting my people in Louisiana desperately. Because of uh, because of the right the rise in gasoline prices, um, I was very disappointed to see this week that the president is has changed his approach to inflation and the price of gasoline. He has said we are now in a a uh, a transition period, and he said it as if that were a positive thing. He said we're in a transition. And when we get through this transition, we're going to be stronger than ever because we're not going to have to rely on fossil fuels. And I'm thinking, you know, I respect the president, but honestly, what, what planet did he parachute in from? I had just finished reading J.P. Morgan's energy report. And J.P. Morgan, looking out until 2030, not 2050, 2030, just eight years from now, said in 2030, at the rate we're going, the demand for energy in America will be 20% greater than the supply. You know what that's going to do to the price, Mr. President. The J.P. Morgan Energy Report said that at a minimum in 2030, eight years from now, the demand for oil is going to be 10 percent higher in America, and the demand for national, natural gas is going to be 18 percent higher. You know what that's going to do to prices? And the president is talking about this glorious transition, when, as if this is going to last forever. I don't know about the good people of Maine, but the, the good people in Louisiana, they just can't afford it. And my people deserve better. Now, what's the answer? I've, here's my opinion. We've got to stop spending. Federal Reserve has got to be given a chance to do its job. The United States Congress has a budget that we have set for the United States of America. We need to live within our budget, except for defense spending. We need to freeze spending. We need to freeze it and give the Federal Reserve a chance to get this inflation under control. Thank you, Mr. President. My people deserve better. People of America deserve better. I yield the floor. Mr. President.